making this amazing meatball soup. It's super easy. This recipe was inspired by another food blogger. We're gonna leave her link down below. But also this soup has been in the Ukrainian or the Slavic for generations. So it's super easy and I can't wait to show you guys how to make it. I love to have all of my ingredients pre-prepped before I start the whole cooking process. For your meat mixture, you're gonna need two pounds of ground meatloaf mix. You're gonna need half of a, a onion, um, also a teaspoon of Danos, two teaspoons of salt, one large egg, and that's about it. For the soup, you're gonna need 15 cups of water, one tablespoon of salt, six medium potatoes, three medium carrots. You're gonna need half a cup of pasta. That's totally optional. You don't need, actually need to put it in, but our little boy loves it, so we put it in. Two cloves of garlic, half of an onion, two large sticks of celery, three tablespoons of can canola oil or any other oil that you like. We're gonna be using grapeseed. One large egg, two tablespoons of dill, and some ground pepper. We're gonna do a whole tablespoon of Danos for our seasoning mix. I already have my 15 cups of water boiling. This is when you add in your potatoes. Well, first we're gonna add in our salt and our Danos. And then we're gonna add in our potatoes, slowly. <laughs> this is where I'm gonna burn myself. <laughs> and we're gonna let the potatoes boil for about 10 minutes. While the potatoes are gonna boil for about 10 minutes, we're gonna prep our meat mixture. Just gonna add in my onions. These are finely chopped onions, just half of an onion finely chopped. This whole recipe just takes one onion, half of it goes into the meatball mixture, and then the half goes into the soup. <gasps> Spices, and then my egg. You need your egg to make sure that the meat becomes like glue. And then we just mix, nice and easy. I smell the pepper from the Danos. I love me a lot of onion. So you're just mixing it until all the ingredients are well blended in here and you just don't, you kind of just look around and make sure it becomes less like, more like a glue where you can be, make it into like a little ball. So there's like this test you can do to see if your mixture is mixed well. You grab some meat, grab the mixture and you squeeze it like that and if it sticks to your hand, then that means it's ready. It's ready, it just fell off. It just didn't squeeze hard enough. Look at that. We're all done mixing, and now we're gonna make little meatballs while the timer is still going. We're just gonna grab a um, pan. And, uh, probably big pan. It's been about eight minutes. Once I got my meatball mixture in, I just decided to put in the carrots already to really soften them up. That's the one thing about pre-prepping your ingredients. You wanna pre-prep because then it's easy, it's a smoother process. So now we're gonna add them in just to really get them softer. We love carrots in our soup. That's like one of my favorite things. Get a little onion in there, that's okay. It definitely wouldn't be homemade if there wasn't little mistakes gonna get this all in here. This is the time I also add in some of the pasta. You do not have to add pasta, but like I said, we love our pasta. So we like to add it in there right now as well. I just crush them right in half. I like to have them a little bit longer. And then I'm just gonna do a handful of it and I think we're good. Just gonna add it right in there because Ollie loves his pasta. No knows. My diet is far from perfect. That's why I take Ritual to fill in the gaps. Whenever winter rolls around, we're always all of a sudden on a look for a quality supplement. Ritual is a multivitamin with no shady additive fillers or colorants designed with key ingredients that we might be missing in our diets. Ritual makes it easy because it's just two capsules daily and you can always see where they source every nutrient. Ritual leads with transparency because they believe everyone should know what you're putting into your body and why 
and what kind of impact they have on the environment around us. Plus, they use 100% recycled material for the bottle and even a plant-based ink for the collateral. Ritual has been obsessively researched as a multivitamin. Even better, they have multivitamins for every life stage. You can have high-quality nutrients your body needs every day delivered straight to your door. Ritual also doesn't just offer vitamins. They have a central protein range and recently launched a new Symbiotic Plus a three-in-one prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic to support a balanced gut microbiome. Fill in your gaps with essentials for men or women. It's a small step that helps support a healthy foundation for your body. Ritual is offering 20% off your first month by going to our link and using our code at the checkout. Thank you for Ritual for sponsoring this video. While our pasta and potatoes and everything is, and carrots are boiling, we're gonna roll out our meatball. We prefer them a little small and tiny. You can do whatever you like pretty much. But what we're gonna do, we're just gonna grab some, we're gonna roll them out, and we're just gonna set them on a tray like this. People usually, while they, um, with this recipe, you can just do it as you go, you can drop it in. But we don't like that, we kinda want them to cook you know, evenly. So we're just gonna pre-roll them and just place them on our tray and then we're gonna drop them in. My mom usually does them like super tiny, like literally like this tiny. But also they shrink so they get even smaller. Or some people just grab a chunk like this and just drop it in. They don't even roll it <laughs> like my friend. <laughs> I saw her make this soup a, a few weeks ago and she just took chunks and she just dropped it in there. She was doing it really homemade. To each their own, <laughs> right? That's why that's why this soup, like I said, it's been in like the Slavic community for generations. They're like, everybody has their own recipe. Nobody owns this. <laughs> and it's so good. It is it is so easy. That's the thing. It's crazy. You're not really dropping in a ton of like spices in there. And the flavor of the soup is insane. It's so good. It's a great winter thing to um, eat. Um, I'm just doing like I'll pin I'll do like a little two pinches of the um, mixture. And like this is too big. I'd like it. This is, this feels like a lot of meatball mixture, but you want to have in every bite in your soup, a little bit of the meat. That's what really makes this soup. I thought like a tablespoon of salt and a tablespoon, well, a tablespoon of salt goes into the soup. And I'm like thinking, I'm like, dang, that's a lot. But that's like 15 cups of water for the soup. And it makes a huge soup, huge pot, which we love because then we store it in our freezer too. We put them in freezer bags and just keep them. And you can just defrost them quickly. You can have a soup in, in seconds. I'm gonna add in all my meatballs. And slowly. You want them to at least cook for 10 minutes. And also you're gonna look out for them to, one, once they start like all floating at the top, that's when you know they're ready. The other thing I love about this meat mixture, they the meatballs start turning white. So it actually looks really nice in the soup. And um, I just like that. <laughs> Aesthetically pleasing. I can eat it. It's not called potato soup, it's called meatball soup. <laughs> so there's gonna be a lot of meatballs in there. We're gonna bring this up to a boil, and then while this is boiling, we're gonna start frying up our um, little vegetable, our little, our little vegetables, our vegetables. We're gonna start frying up our vegetables, and then we're gonna toss them in. We have our stove on medium high heat. We're just gonna add in our oil. I like to add in my garlic first, just to get that roast flavor in our soup. Add it in, toast it up a little bit. This is already good. Now I'm gonna add in the rest of the ingredients, the rest of the onions and celery. Now watch the garlic a little bit, and then if anything, if your garlic starts burning a little bit, just turn down the heat. We have a gas stove, so it 
it roasts the vegetables fast. So we have to be careful. You're just looking for golden brown edges on the onions and a little bit. You'll see the celery start shrinking a little bit. Don't burn your veggies. The reason you add in your vegetables at the very end, I think because you they just preserve the bite of the celery and then the, um, the onion. I think it just really gives that crunch and flavor to um, the veggies. This is the color that you're looking for, that golden brown little edges, not burnt, just golden brown. And now we're gonna add it into the soup. We're pretty much cooking the rawness out of the veggies. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. We're just gonna stir it up. Nice. Oh, I might have to add more noodles for Ollie. There's barely any in here. It's been almost 10 minutes. This is when I'm gonna add in my egg. This is totally optional. You do not have to do this. Uh, th it just changes the texture of the soup and we love it. And I feel like it really makes it more authentic. So we're just gonna beat it. It's gonna look weird at first, don't freak out. That's why I said it's optional. So you wanna stir it, stir it while you're pouring it in. So it doesn't create any crazy clumps. You got your egg soup, babe. Yeah, it definitely reminds me of egg drop soup. And now last but not least, every Ukrainian has one of these in the fridge. It's a freezer full of dill. And we're gonna add about two tablespoons of dill in the soup. Oh, we got to stock up a little bit more. We're running low. It's another one of the big flavors that really changes the soup. Wow. I mean, look at this. Beautiful. I don't know why I'm going in for that accent. <laughs> I'm good. I'm just so, no, that was so weird. I'm so excited to try this. Like I'm starving. I've been saving myself. That sounds weird. I've been saving. I've been saving myself for this. I didn't have a uh, breakfast. So here it goes. Here goes nothing. But look how beautiful this broth is. It is just so clean and just, it's pretty. And it smells so good. Okay. First things first, let's try this soup out. That's good. That's real, you know what it tastes like? Chicken noodle soup. Yes, that's what it tastes like. So good. It just, it just tastes clean, like it tastes fresh. You're not like eating a lot of like garbage and like greasy food. All right, let's try this meatball. Mm. Look at this. Let me pull this out. Delicious. Oh my God. The meatballs is what makes this soup because the meatballs have like, it's like a explosion of flavors in your mouth. Like it is so good. And it's not like tough. It's just perfect. It's soft. It's, the flavors are just phenomenal. Here, babe, you gotta try this. Try this. Right? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel and make sure you follow us on Instagram for more behind the scenes. And we'll see you guys at our next video.